Hi, I'm Brett Larkin. Today's sequence is going to focus on releasing tension in the shoulder and eliminating fear. Um, we're going to begin. If you have a block, I highly suggest sitting in it. If you don't have any props, you can just sit like this or on your heels. What I'm going to do is actually take the block and place it the long way between my heels and be sort of in a child's pose position with my knees, but really feel my sitting bones on the block. So you can do this position without a block or put just a large book or a pillow or a bolster underneath you. Otherwise, any leg position is fine. Let's tune in. Close your eyes. And right away, feel your sits bones rooting down into whatever you're sitting on. Maybe just tilting the torso back, lengthening the tailbone down in space, feeling the sitting bones root. From there, feel the crown of the head extend upward. And right away, bring your attention to your shoulders, shoulder blades. Begin to feel them melting down the back deliberately. You may need to bring your hands in closer to your groin, as opposed to being out by the knees, in order to facilitate this relaxation of the shoulders. Begin inflating this pose with your breath. If you're in this same position as me, it's quite nice. Your sits bones are firmly rooted into the block. Your knees are firmly rooted into the mat. Tops of the feet firmly rooted into the mat. It's an incredibly stable place. Inhale deeply for a count of three, two, one. Pause at the top. Exhale, one, two, Three, pelvis lifts, slight contraction on the exhale. Inhale, belly fill, ribs fill, collarbones fill. Exhale, collarbones relax. Pelvis lifts up and in, contract, exhale. Again, inhaling for three, two, one. Pause at the top. Exhaling one. Two, three, let all the air out. Just going on your own, inhaling deeply. Three, two, one. Exhaling, one, two, three. If you like, you can imagine a ball of light rising from the tailbone to the crown of the head as you inhale. Three, two, one. And that same ball of light falling, crown of head to tailbone. One two, three. Let's take our arms up above our head on the in-breath. One, three. Palms rise, right, spread the head. Tail, hand to the right knee. Three, two, one. You're just in a simple twist. Inhale, grow taller. Three, two, one. Exhale, move a little deeper into the twist. One, two, three. So use your left hand on your right knee as leverage. Truly really push yourself into the twist. And then bend the left elbow to move you a little deeper. Collarbones splay apart. Sitting bones root into the block or the floor. Inhale. Grow taller. Exhale. Move deeper into the twist. Inhale. In breath. Takes the arms up. Three. Two. One. Exhale. Right hand to left knee. One, two, three. Leverage, leverage the palm on the thigh bone or the knee. Inhaling. Exhaling, move a little deeper into the twist. Three, two, one. Inhaling, hand on the thigh bone. Maybe bend the elbow to really move you deeper into the twist. On the exhale, use the navel to curl yourself around. Yet feel the shoulder blades still melting down the back. Notice if they've lifted. In breath takes you up. One, two, three. Exhale, the elbow to the ear, practice on. Two, one. Thread the right elbow underneath the left. If you can clasp the hands, great. If you just want to have them here, that's fine too. Inhale deeply. Three. Two, one, into the area of the shoulder girdle. Exhale completely. 
Inhale, glide the shoulder blades down the back. So move them three or four inches down in space. Your elbows move down in space as well. And then keeping the shoulder blades where they are, just energetically lift the elbows, just a micro, micro centimeter. Energetically move the hands away from the face. Deep inhale into the shoulder girdle. Two, one. Exhale completely. Three, two, one. From here, we're going to take a tick-tocking motion. So take your hands, your elbows, everything over to the right. Big side body stretch. And then the palms are going to graze the floor as you make a half circle on the floor in front of you. Head very heavy. And then you come up over on the left side, left side bend, and return to center. Again, you're just making a tick-tocking motion with your arms, in eagle arms. Big side stretch. Head is super heavy. Graze the floor. Come up through the opposite side. Head is last thing to come up. You've done two circles in one direction. Take it in the opposite direction. So hands, elbows, head, just tick-tock to the left. Come down, graze the floor in front of you. Stretch it around. Try to get all the muscles in the low side waist. Nice. Just on your own time. Pausing anywhere that feels good, really letting the breath flow. We'll meet in center. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, palms lift. Exhale, hands come to the floor. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Inhale, palms lift, heart lift. Exhale, elbows into goalposts. It's time to thread your left arm underneath your right. Left elbow underneath right elbow, opposite grip. Inhale here. Inflate the shoulder girdle with your breath, and then exhale, glide the shoulders down the back. So they actually come down three or four inches. Elbows can come down three or four inches to facilitate this. And then just energetically lift the elbows a micro inch. Energetically move the hands away from the face a micro inch. Feel those sitting bones grounding into the book, block, or mat. Inhale here. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely, initiate to the left this time. Just begin your tick-tock. And through all areas of the side waist, that is our intention here. As well as to establish a stretch and the trapezius, the shoulder girdle. Head is heavy, last thing to come up. Two circles in each direction. But feel good, let it be about warming up the spine. Opposite way. What's nice about the child's pose position here is we just have a lot of extra space. Nice. Together we'll gently meet in center. Take your time, no rush. Inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale. Exhale, shoulders open, elbows open. Inhale, palms lift. Exhale, fold. Stretch forward. It's a modified child's pose. So you can reach your arms forward. Let the neck drop. Let the head be heavy. Feel the sitting bones still rooting into the block as if your low back could lengthen. Deep inhale here. Exhale completely. Inhale. Exhale completely. Then inhale, initiating with the tailbone rooting into the block or the floor. Stack the vertebra one at a time. Beautiful. Head is last thing to come up. Inhale. Exhale, and then gently roll yourself forward. 
to set the block aside or in front of you. Come into a uh, cat cow. So shoulder. And just begin taking a few loose cat cows on your own. Wider stance than normal, perhaps. Roll back. Maybe you micro bend the elbows to really push and arch the heart through the arm bone. Exhale. Look for the pause, arch, hold, exhale. Let's take it back, curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Press through your index finger and thumb. Straighten the left leg and let the right knee be bent. And then go the opposite way. Straighten one leg, keep the other bent. Aim your sitting bones for where the side wall meets the ceiling. Let the head get extra heavy. Tune in again to that ball of light from the tailbone to the crown of head. Three, two, one. And then from the crown of head to the tailbone. One, two, three. Just staying with that if you can. Eyes closed at all times if possible. Jump, step, or walk your feet towards your hands. Inhale, half lift. Notice for your half lift where your shoulders are in space. Roll them down the back away from the ears. Exhale, fold. So the inhale to half lift is actually a deliberate rolling away of the shoulders. It helps to take the hand to the shin bones to feel it. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Always fine to have the knees bent at this stage if you prefer. Nice. And then inhale, take hold of opposite elbows. Knees can micro bend. And just begin to make little figure eights with your elbows. See how small you can make the figure eight. So this isn't a big movement. It's the smallest, subtlest of movements. And you're just kind of weaving your left and right elbow, making figure eights in the air, seeing if you can tap into something interesting opening for you in the low back. Smallest, smallest, tiniest figure eights. Knees can be bent. Inhaling. Just exhaling, exploring the low back. And then pause and center. Maybe straighten the legs. Maybe rebend them. And then just a variation on the typical linear sun salutation. We're going to take the elbows, take the right elbow to the right knee. Keep the hands clasped around the elbows. We're just coming around up through a sun. Up through Tadasana, holding the elbows. Down through a side body stretch, opposite side, keeping the elbows clasped. Bend the knees if you like. And coming down to Uttanasana, two in each direction, sundial. Just opening up, expanding through the side body. Pausing in Tadasana, a little back bend if you wish. Exhaling, rolling down through the side body. Just let it feel good. Inhale. Exhale, around the opposite way. Just two in each direction. See how slowly you can move through these circles. See if in every side body you can feel the ribs stacking, each rib getting a little farther apart from one another. And then inflate this whole scenario with your breathing. Come to the center. Let your arms rest down, no rush if you're not done. We'll inhale, half lift. Shoulders deliberately roll down the back. Press your thigh bones away and move the shoulders down. Exhale, fold. Nice. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down around enough to touch this time above the head. Exhale, press the air away. As if you're moving through water. Inhale, feel all four corners of the feet solidify to the mat as you lift the heart, lift the palm. 
on the outer fold of the legs. On the in-breath, half lift, shoulders roll away from the ears. On the exhale, step to plank pose. Chaturanga, up dog on the inhale. Notice if an up dog, if the shoulders are up by the ears, back, micro bend the elbows if you have to. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale the right, beautiful. Pause in your down dog for a moment. Let the head be incredibly heavy. Soften the space between the eyebrows, soften the jaw. Inhale for three, two, one. Ball of light from tailbone to crown of head. Exhale, one, two, three. Tailbone to crown of head. One more on your own, inhaling. Perhaps imagining a ball of light from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Exhaling, crown of head to tailbone. Inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, through. We're going to take the feet parallel, so you're going to turn to face the back wall. Really extend, press down through the soles of the feet. So the kneecaps lift, thigh bones so engaged, or stretch on the outer shin. That's Walk the hands forward, so as if you were in a down dog. So keeping your legs exactly as they are. Just walk your hands forward into a down dog. From here, Keep your right hand where it is. Take the left hand. I want you to reach for the right shin. Just taking hold wherever you can. So step one is to take hold of the right shin really firmly. Let the head drop completely. And then I want you to bend the left elbow vigorously as if you could twist your torso underneath the extended front arm to look for a stretch in the back of the left shoulder blade. Really subtle, see if you can find it. So you're holding on to the right shin like crazy, but it's the bending of the elbow, the leveraging, as if you wanted to twist your heart up and underneath the armpit to the sky, that you find the stretch in the back of the shoulder blade, back of the back shoulder blade. One more deep breath. Legs so strong. Exhale. Bring it back to downward facing dog. Nice. Pause here a moment. Reset. And then take the right hand underneath the left arm. Right hand reaches for left shin. Grab it really firmly. Nice. And then once you have it, re-engage through the legs. And then bend the right elbow so fiercely as you begin to spin your torso underneath the left armpit as you find a stretch behind the right shoulder blade. Let the head drop. The head is not a part of this exercise. Let the head be heavy. Elbow is active. Hand gripping the shin is active. Inhale. Legs so strong. Exhale. Feel the stretch behind the shoulder blade. It's muscular stretching. You need to engage to find it. Inhale. Really bend that elbow. Exhale. Nice. Walk the hands directly underneath your face. Just pause, drop in. Bring the left hand directly underneath the face. And then just lift the right palm. Out of the shin. Hold the shoulder blades. If you want to feel like there could be at least four measurable inches between your shoulders and your ears. Just feel them melt towards the tailbone, towards the back of the room. Inhale. Exhale. Right palm under the face. Left palm lifts up. Stack the shoulders. Always option to come onto the fingertips of the bottom hand if you just want a little bit more space. Wherever you are, lengthen the tailbone towards the back of the room. Engage the quadriceps to lift up out of the shin. And then roll the shoulders down the back towards the back of the room. One more. Exhale. Walk. Actually, left. the left leg. And come into a lunge. 
Nice. And then come through center, bend the right. Tapping into the hips slightly here. Making this as slow, pausing, or as quickly as you need to. Walk your hands to the left. Option to flex that foot or keep it straight. Option to be up or to come down on the elbows if you want to pause anywhere for a moment. Maybe inhaling left. Walking it over to the right or to like just moving side to side the whole time. Completely an option. Your choice. Beautiful. Wherever you are, eventually gently transition to just walking the hands around to frame the back foot. Pop the back foot up. You're kind of in a low lunge. The back foot to meet the front. You're in plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale carries you back. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, plank. Arrive in plank and roll the shoulders down the back deliberately. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Shoulders roll back as your heart moves forward. And find that. Exhale. Downward facing dog, navel into the low spine. Inhale, plank. So your heart carries forward. In this midpoint, feel the shoulders start to roll down and back towards the heels. So the shoulders are away from the ears upon arrival. Exhale, navel into low spine, downward facing dog. Last one, inhale, plank. Shoulders roll back as you articulate forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the ground. Or you can use knees, chest, chin. Coming all the way down to the ground. Beautiful. Inhale, clasp the hands behind the lower back. Feel all ten toenails on the ground. This includes the pinky toenail. And then feel the hips press into the mat. Tailbone lengthens towards the heels. Take your fist and stretch it up and back. Shalabhasana. Let's have the legs stay on the floor for this one. Inhale around the collarbones of the heart. Try to open it up. Let the head drop. Be heavy. Take the neck out of it. And then, as you imagine lifting the fist to pull yourself up, also imagine the fist just moving back in space towards the back wall. So they lengthen back and up. Again, drop the head, make this purely about the shoulders, inhale, exhale, place your left cheek to the mat, drop in, nice, feel the hip bones press into the mat, navel lift up and in, Tailbone lengthens towards the heels. You can take the variation we just did, or if you're ready, bend the ankles. Reach back for the ankles and then use the ankles kicking into the hands to lift you up for Janurasana. Inhale here, lift the knees higher off the ground. Toes can be pointed or flexed. Exhale. Inhale, collarbones splay open. Imagine those heads of the arm bones moving back in the shoulder socket again. Exhale completely. Inhale, inflate the chest. Feel the left and right knee energetically moving towards one another. Bring them closer together as you bring them up. This will intensify the stretch in the collarbones. Inhale. Notice how the head is dropped, not bringing the neck into it. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Right cheek to the mat. Beautiful. Let the bones of your body drop down. How quickly can you relax completely? Inhale, come up onto the elbows. Sphinx pose. Just find yourself here for a moment. Roll the shoulders down, around, and back. Practice this articulation of the palms pressing into the mat to move the shoulders down, around, and back. 
Take the left forearm in front of you. Reach back with the right hand for the big toe side of the right foot. And then spin the fingertips towards the front room. Press the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot. So first we're going to take this into the quad stretch. So really press the foot into the hand, the hand into the foot, and begin to tap into a deep quad stretch on the right side. Imagine you can energetically lengthen and extend your right seat to the right. Feel the right quad lengthen along the mat as you do this for a deeper quad stretch. Inhaling for three, two, one. Exhaling. One, two, three. And then now, let the foot be dominant and kick back as you just hold the outside of the foot for a moment. Big toe side of the foot. So make sure you're holding the big toe side of the foot so the armpit is open. And just kick through the foot like crazy and enjoy a nice shoulder opener here. It can be nice to let the head hang to the left or make little circles with the head. See if you can open something up in the neck as well. Really kicking through that back foot, tailbone lengthens towards the back heel. Nice, and then let it go. Come to center, pause for a moment. Notice the difference between the left and right side of the body. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Bring the right forearm in front of you. Reach back for the left foot with the left hand. Make sure to take the big toe side of the foot. We'll take the quad stretch first. So spin the fingertips towards the front of the room. Really press to that right elbow to keep a cobra in the upper spine. And then press the hand into the foot, the foot into the hand. See so if you can energetically lengthen your left sitting bone wider and longer to the left. And that the left quad gets longer along the mat as you do this. And then press the hand into the foot, the foot into the hand. Inhaling three, two, one. Exhaling completely, one, two, three, two more. Inhaling. Exhaling, quadricep gets longer on the mat. Inhaling. Exhaling completely. Moving out of the quad stretch now, just holding the big toe side of the foot. Kick as hard as you can through the big toe and through the foot as you open the left shoulder for a bit of a shoulder opener. Let the head hang. Use the skull to your advantage here, letting it be heavy, maybe stretching certain lines in the neck. Really kick powerfully through that back foot. And hold on to it for dear life. Inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Bring your forehead to the mat. Drop in. Take your hands out alongside you, Superman arms. So you want your hands directly in line with your shoulders. From here, we're just going to roll over onto the left armpit, left shoulder. And this top foot can come either in front of you. I like to take it behind me. What we're doing is we're rolling onto the left armpit for a very deep shoulder opener on the left side. So figure out where you need to be. Adjust the hand so it's really emanating directly from the shoulder socket, hand and shoulder in one line. And then you control your weight on how far and intensely you want to lean back upon it. Three deep breaths here, close your eyes.
and gently come to center. And just take it to the other side. So this time we're rolling on to the right armpit. Taking that left foot behind us or in front of us or just stacking the feet, whatever works for you. Check that the hand is emanating from the shoulder socket and then just roll over onto the left armpit. Deep, deep shoulder opener for the left deltoid. Inhaling deeply here. Exhaling completely. Inhaling. Exhaling completely. Two more on your own. Close your eyes. Go in. Gently roll to center. Place the hands underneath the collarbones. Shift the hips up and back and on to the heels. We'll come into child's pose. Nice wide child's pose. Forehead to the mat, drop in. Curl the toes under. Lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. We have one more standing pose. We've been preparing for it all class. Gently jump, step, or walk the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up to touch above the head. Exhale, press the air away. So slow, moving through water. Nice. Inhale. Begin to shift all of your weight onto your left foot. Just really feel that left foot. Before you even move, toes extend. Feel all four corners of the foot. Left hand to left waist. And then lift the foot, just like we did before, taking hold of the big toe side of the foot. Bring the knees to touch. From there, lengthen the tailbone down. Engage through the left quadricep. Once the knees touch, you can begin kicking the foot into the hand. So we're coming into dancer. So don't lean forward, whatever you do. Just kick the foot into the hand. It's a nice shoulder opener. It's also a balance. Navel engaged. Option if you want to take the hand off the hip. Take it up. And just practice your balance. Stare at something in front of you, maybe several feet in front of you on the floor. The secret to the pose is to kick the foot into the hand and never stop. If kicking into the foot leans you forward slightly, that's okay. But don't lean forward unless the kicking is taking you there. One more breath. Nice. Exhale. If you can, just bring the knee right into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze, and then just take it into tree pose for a moment, just because we're right here. In tree pose, lengthen the tailbone down. Sole of the foot can be here or on the shin, just not on the knee. Hands to prayer. Inhale. Exhale completely. Feel the shoulder blades melt and roll down the back. 
feel the sole of the foot pressing into the quad and the quad pressing into the sole of the foot. You're so strong and balanced here. Inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale. Gently set the foot down. Let's wash it out with the sun salute. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold over your legs. Shoulders down and back, hands perhaps to shin. Exhale. Pull the arms down around neck to touch. Exhale as you press the hands away. Wash everything away that just happened on the first side, the first balance. Clean the etch a sketch, clean the slate. Before you begin even moving, start pressing the weight into the right foot. Feeling through all four corners of the foot. And then, really gently, taking hold of the left big toe side of the foot with the left hand. Line up the knees to begin. It seems unnecessary, but it is necessary. And then lengthen the tailbone. Broaden across the chest. And then from here, keep everything the same. Right quad so engaged. Just begin kicking the back foot into the left hand. Deep shoulder stretch. So you're only leaning forward if the foot is taking you there. Core must be engaged here. If the navel's not hugging up into the low back, the balance can't happen. Option to take the arm up only if you wish. What enables balance is kicking into the back hand with the foot. The foot is moving towards the back wall. Kick, 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 kick. If the kick happens to take you forward slightly, engage through the quadricep, engage through the core, that's all right. Inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale. And don't take yourself too seriously. Exhale. It's just a game. It's just a game with the breath. Inhale, bring the knee up into the chest. Exhale, bring it into tree. Feel the sole of the foot press into the quad. Quad super strong, tailbone lengthens down. Recapture your breath here, hands to prayer. Find where your shoulders are in space, roll them down and back. Inhale deeply here, three, two, one. Exhale, one. Two, three, two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Bring the foot down. Shake it out. And then inhale the palms up. Exhale, fold forward. Exhale, step to plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. Bring the knees to the mat. Again. For today's articulation, either take Cactus goal post arms with your child's pose so you can feel the shoulders melt down the back. Feel any tension in between your shoulders and your ears dissipate. Feel the bones of your body get heavy. How big a pause can you make here to install, download the attention that you need to eliminate tension in any part of the body in any given moment, to be that aware, to see that clearly internally and externally, 
physically and mentally, where you're tensing, where you're constricting, and just let it go immediately. Gently roll up one vertebra at a time so your sitting bones come to your heels. Navel comes into the low back. You're gently stacking the vertebra one at a time. You'll see we're in the exact position we began in. You can stay sitting on the heels here, or if you prop handy, I really recommend coming back exactly to where we were, sits bones on the long side of the block. Place the hands on the shins. If you want to come into a cross-legged seat or just sitting on the heels, Vajrasana, anything you want is fine. Bring the hands closer towards the groin. Let the shoulders really melt down the back. Close your eyes. You can literally listen, tune in to the pumping, the beating of your own heart. Tension in the shoulders is fear. It's not actual fear. If we allowed ourselves to feel the fear, would find that every emotion really just has a limit. It's just sensation. What the shoulder tension is, is our constriction to wanting to feel fear. Instead of feeling fear, we constrict. And we feel this immediately as humans, almost always in the shoulders. The shoulders lift up by the ears as a method of defense as a method of self-protection, closing off, closing in, shutting down. That is what shoulder tension is. It stems from fear, but it's not actual fear. It's our own self-inflicted constriction. Instead of just relaxing and letting emotions come through us, we'll find that each is only so deep. It's our own startling. that brings it. And this is fantastic news because it means it is our cultivation of the opposite, our cultivation of the relaxation of the shoulders, of not being afraid to experience anything by just telling the truth in every moment, in every situation, that we actually can eliminate shoulder tension and this reactivity from our lives. Inhale here. Exhale, take the hands to the soles of your feet. You can just have the thumbs on the sole of the foot, hands holding the top of the foot, or you can take your whole palm to the sole of the foot. Either way, wherever you are, we're just inhaling, arching. Shoulders roll up, around, down, and back. Lift the heart, look up. Inhale, exhale, rounding. Curl the low back, let the head be very heavy. Inhale, arch. How slow can you make this? Shoulder blades kiss on the back. Exhale, round. Navel into low spine, head heavy. Inhale, arch. How slow can the inhale fill you up? How slow, exhale. Can you lift up over your sit bones, bring the navel into the low back. Exhale all the breath out. One more on your own. It's just a cat-cow variation. You're so warm, it should feel so good. Really let the shoulders kiss on the back as you lift your heart, lift your head. Exhale, really roll up and over the sit bones as you curl. Find center, hands to prayer. Sits bones heavy into the block or the mat, crown of the head light. Inhale a ball of light from the tailbone to the crown of head. Exhale, ball of light moves down, crown of head to tailbone. 
für morgen. Gently lift yourself off your block. And the legs long in front of you. Just transition mindfully, keeping the attention inward. Flex the feet. Bring the right foot, sole of the foot to the ground, right knee in. Hold the knee, lift yourself up. Roll the shoulders down and back. And then place that sole of the foot um, across the left knee, but then you're going to bring the sole of the foot actually by the left hip. So you're stacking the knees if you can. If this isn't accessible to you, sit up on a block or a pillow. Or just don't worry about it too much. Where we're going is we're just inhaling, lifting the chest and exhaling, folding forward. This is a completely yin style passive forward fold. So we're not reaching for the foot. So notice if your hands are already out reaching. Bring them back about a foot and a half to where the palms can rest gently and navigate the shoulders towards a place of ease on the back. From here, we're inhaling, experiencing sensation in the left hip, perhaps the left hamstring. And we're feeling the shoulders completely open, melting down the back. The head is heavy. Bring the chin deeply, deeply, deeply into the chest. Five deep breaths. So our aim is not to get the head to the knee. Our aim is not to reach for the foot. The aim is to open the back line of the body. Bring the chin really deeply into the chest, curving the neck more than you think you need to to do this. See if you can really find that line. It might connect all the way through the left hip. And then just space between the shoulders and the ears, between the shoulder blades and one another. And sway left to right. Gently roll up. Lengthen the foot. Bring the left sole of the foot to the ground, left knee into the chest, hold the knee. Lift yourself up, roll the shoulders down and back. Front leg always active, always flexed. Bring the foot to the outside of the right knee and then bring the sole of the foot all the way to the outside of the hip. Knees stacking if it's accessible. Inhale up and exhale fold. Taking the hands about a foot back in space. Navigating the shoulders onto the back, away from the ears. Chin falls deeply into the collarbones. It may activate a deeper stretch in the hip. We're just softening the back line of the body, passively folding forward. No striving, no reaching, just settling. Settling. Settling in is the opposite of constricting. With every breath, imagine expansion in your body left to right. Imagine expansion up and down. Imagine expansion of your sitting bones on the floor, of your palms on the mat, of anything that's on the mat, just expanding further, spreading apart on the mat like liquid. This is the opposite of contraction. This is what we need to be cultivating at all times. Truth instead of fear. Openness, spreading instead of constriction. Authenticity instead of insecurity. Gently roll up. 
one vertebra at a time, both legs in front of you this time. Inhale, reset on your sitting bones if you'd like. Arms lift up, your choice, bend forward. Knees can be bent, you can reach for the feet, or you can do a passive yin style forward fold. It's your choice. Wherever you are, notice if the shoulders have crept up towards the ears, and then deliberately move them down and back. No perception or perceived stretch in the hamstrings or no satisfaction the ego gets from bending over more is worth tensing in the shoulders because we're tensing on the shoulders almost all day on our keyboard as we react to noises if we live in a city, as we react to everything. Our practice must be a place where we cultivate the shoulders down and back and actively modify any pose to find ease in this space of the body so that we can eventually catch when we're constricting in life and roll the shoulders down and back, find ease, physically and find grace in speaking our truth interiorly in every moment. Gently roll up one vertebra at a time, head is the last thing to come up. You may want to shift forward slightly on your mat, but keep the legs long. Ragdoll here. Arms extend forward. And then roll back one vertebra at a time. Head is the last thing to touch the floor. Bring the soles of the feet onto the mat just for a moment. Let your tailbone lengthen, lift it up towards the heels and set it back down. And then just let your knees, hips width apart, just fall to the right. And then take your right foot and hook it on top of your left knee for a nice stretch of the IT band. Nice. So the right foot has just hooked over the left knee to sort of hold it down. And let this go into the low back. And then let it go, soles of the feet on the ground. Just let the knees windshield wiper over to the left. And this time the left foot comes on top of the right knee. It's nothing fancy, it's just weighting it down. As you inhale into the low back. Inhale, let it go. Nice. Inhale, lift the tailbone again. Lengthen it as much as you can along the mat. Extend the right leg long. Extend the left leg long. And keep the hands out by the sides. Bend the elbows. Press your elbows into the mat to roll your shoulder blades down, back, and underneath you. From here, you can set the palms of the hands back down, or left hand on the heart, right hand on the belly. Rock your head from side to side so your right ear hits the mat, then the left, until you just find the center of the skull where you want to rest. Feel the earth, the mat, receiving your body. Feel your bones heavy sinking into the mat, sinking into the floor. Shavasana. Corpse pose.
gently begin to feel life, energy awakening in your belly as it rises and falls. your right knee into your chest and then your left knee into your chest and give yourself a squeeze if you'd prefer to remain in Shavasana and you have the time to do so please do otherwise you're rocking back and forth on your sit bones lengthening your tailbone towards the back of the mat as you hug your knees in notice if your shoulders have crept up as you hug the knees in roll them down Let me curl over to your right side using your right forearm as a pillow. Left palm presses into the mat. Take two deep grounding breaths here. No rush, nowhere to be. And then gently pressing in through your left palm, roll up to sit. Let the head be the last thing to come up. Find a simple cross-legged seat. Hands on the knees and then bring the hands back so the elbows are closer to the torso, arm bones closer to the torso. Let the shoulders melt down and back. Inhale deeply here. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Collarbones move back in space and down. Inhale. Shoulders move back in space and down. Inhale. Heads of the arm bones move back in space and down. Envision a ball of light from the tailbone to the crown of the head rising. And your exhale carries it down deliberately. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Deeply thank yourself for making this time, this space, taking a moment out of your ordinary life to self-connect, build awareness, take care of the body. To release fear, to release the constriction around fear, and to thank fear for showing us how we can learn to unconstrict. Dip your chin, lengthen the back of your neck. Bow to yourself. And I bow to each and every one of you. Namaste.